I want to see them treasure the Lord. I want to see them find their joy in everything in Him. I didn't know how to lead them into that. I just felt overwhelmed. The most challenging part of being a single mom is probably being stretched so thin. There is a lot of give and take when there's not a second parent. And I don't have backup. I sit there and I think that, have I failed my family? Did I not take them to church enough? Did, you know, did I not get them plugged in enough? You know, who's going to influence them? Are they going to stay grounded in the things that we've taught them? Really, I want them to have faith in their life. Maybe that's my job to do so, and I'm going to try my hardest, but I need help. We started getting out of control and just partied and drugged. And what we found out is, until you're in this mess, you don't know anything. One of the things I want to implement in my family is just faith. I grew up in a home where going to church and prayer and all those things were just not important. We didn't do those things. No matter what happens in our lives, good or bad, our kids are watching us as we live out our faith. That's why the best gift you can give your children is to create a God-honoring, happy, thriving marriage. A lot of times our friends look the same on the outside. A lot of times they're different on the inside. There's only one way to get to heaven where God is. God's going to come down and He's going to take you up to heaven. The thing about this toothpaste is it's a lot like the words that come out of our mouth. Once we say them, you can't put them back in. Why do we have kids? Why do we go through the difficulties of holding our marriages together? Because God calls us to. Because it pleases Him because it's an act of worship, because it represents the gospel to a disbelieving world. It's about so much more than us. When it comes to the gospel, it comes to the things of God, it comes to teaching our children, it will not be a conversation. It's not a, here are the things of God, good luck, have any questions, come back and ask me. It's a diligent day in and day out drawing their attention to the selfishness of their heart and God's love for them despite that selfishness. My prayer is that the gospel take root in your home and that long after you're gone, long after I'm gone, the gospel of Jesus Christ would be centered and central in how our home thinks, talks, and sees, and that one generation would commend his works to the next up until the return of Christ.